well. Today might have to be one of the most anticipated and most biggest races of the season. Welcome to the NASCAR Air Jordan Cup Series 2021 season. We are here at Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama for the running of the Yellowwood 500. This is the elimination race of the round of 12. After this race, four drivers will be eliminated and eight drivers will get to continue their championship hopes. Now let's take a look at the drivers to watch out for today. Starting on the pole is the number nine of Chase Elliott. He came into this race one point below the cut line. Can Chase Elliott hold him off? Now, we have Brad Keselowski who won last week at Las Vegas and he's really good on super speedways. Almost won the 500, got, got, but, but got flipped on the last lap. What I mean by that is he wrecked on the last lap. Danny Hamlin, he's the only driver that is locked into the, the round of eight due to how many points he has. He has a big points cushion right now. That is, was able to keep him into the round of eight regardless if he wrecks. So, Danny Hamlin, he doesn't have to worry about this race. He is locked in and will advance to the round of eight. Now, we have... Martin Truex Jr., your Daytona 500 winner from this year, from this season. Martin Truex Jr. has has super speedways that just been treating Truex really good. And by winning the Daytona 500, that's got to hype up Truex, but he's starting way deep in the field. We got to see how Martin Truex Jr. does. So those are all the drivers to keep an eye on. The pace car will be rolling on the track, same as all of these drivers. Now we will take a look at the starting grid for the Yellowwood 500. On the pole is Chase Elliott, alongside him is Brad Keselowski in the two. Then we got two super speedway aces, Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace. Now we got two drivers who are on the playoff cut line right now, Kurt Busch and Alex Bowman. Then we have Joey Logano, Joey Logano and Eric Almarola. Then we have Austin Dillon and surprising driver Ryan Priest will round out the top 10. He really likes super speedways as well. Keep an eye out for him in that number 37. Then we have Matt DiBenedetto and Ricky Stenhouse. Then we have Eric Jones in the 43 and Kevin Harvick in the 4 who is currently in a must win situation. If he wins, he's on to advance. Then we have Chris Buescher and Kyle Busch who actually finished the Daytona 500 right in the top, in the top 5. Then we got Ryan Blaney and William Byron. Then we got Tyler Reddick in the 8 and Ross Chastain. Then we have Corey LaJoy and Daniel Suarez. Then we have Michael McDowell and Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell, these past few races for Bell really hasn't really been, um, really hasn't been the way that he wanted him to go. Ever since Darlington, Christopher Bell has just been involving in wrecks. Then we got Ryan Newman and Martin Truex Jr. Then we got Kyle Larson. This track really is never nice to Kyle Larson. And then we have Ty Dillon. Then we have the Paris Stewart Haas teammates, Cole Custer, Chase Briscoe. And rounding it out is Justin Haley. This will be his last start of the season because he will only be running at the two Super Speedway races this year. He won the day he, he was racing in the Daytona 500 and now this is his final race of, this is the final race that he'll be racing at this year. And also, I forgot to mention Ty Dillon. He will be, he, this, this will be his third race of the season. His last race will be at Phoenix. And same with Ryan Priest as well. And rounding it out is the 38 of Anthony Alfredo. Well, let's take a look at the race from that before we begin. Pit road speed, 55 miles an hour, 10 laps around this 2.66 mile track. Remember, this is the long, this is the longest track we've got in this, in this season. So, and, it's, and make sure these drivers have to watch out for the big one. And we don't know if it's, we don't, we know if it's going to happen, but we just don't know when it's going to happen. This is Talladega. It's one of the biggest races of the season. It's very possible that a non-playoff driver will win this race. Remember what happened last week? Brad Keselowski was able to get his first win, and he's not in the playoffs. That could happen because anyone can win at Talladega. Anyone. Chase Elliott has to have a good run today in order to advance. Pace score is already off pit road. Elliott, Keselowski. Fans are on their feet. Get up and get ready. They're about to go racing. Remember, the start finish line is not here. It's all the way right there. 
Up through the gears they go. Green flag in the air. We're racing at Talladega Super Speedway. Chase Elliott right now has the lead over Denny Hamlin and Brad Keselowski. Chase Elliott now starting to pull away. Now th a third line opens up. Keselowski is going to get a push from Kurt Busch. This is going to allow Keselowski to take the lead. Now as we have our first flyby basically of the season. Out of the turn number four. Three wide. Here comes Kurt Busch. Four line opens up. Ryan Priest are on the outside. Kurt Busch led lap number one though. Ryan Priest now is really here with a push from Kevin Harvick. Harvick came into this race in a must win situation. But Ryan Priest now. Bowman came out of nowhere. Ryan Priest blocks. Ryan Priest is still your leader. Alex Bowman came into this race plus seven points above a cut line. Look at Christopher Bell in the 20. He started deep in the field, already worked his way up. Lap two is led by Priest. Alex Bowman and Priest still leading here. But look at Christopher Bell and Chastain. Martin Truex Jr. is your Daytona 500 winners right there as well. Here comes Blaney with the push. Here comes Stenhouse and Blaney on the outside lane as they head into the trial once again with Bell with leading. And all around goes Blaney Priest upside down. Bowman caught up. Harvick is in it. Dylan is in it. Kurt Busch. Elliot Keselowski make contact. Byron in the grass. Almarola, Logano. And the big one happens on the tri -oval. Oh my goodness. And they're still wrecking. Priest still on his side. Caution comes out. Oh, this is going to be... A big red flag, and I have word, word that Christopher Bell took lap number four. Un took lap look took the lap on took the lap, just took lap four before we took we started lap four before he before the caution came out. So that means we're going that means the halfway bonus is being awarded to by Christopher Bell. The red flag is out here, man. Lots of lots of drivers involved in this one. Man, man, a heartbreaker, especially for Kurt Busch, too. His hopes, his hopes of making it to the next round are dashed. They're over. So let's take a look, look at a replay what happened. Oh, looks like Stenhouse just shoved Blaney so hard that pushed Priest upside down. Wow. And you can see everyone was trying to avoid the trying to avoid the wreck, but everyone just a lot of drivers spun through the grass. And as you saw right there, Kyle Busch actually turned Bubba Wallace that to avoid to avoid the crash. Heartbreaker for Ryan Priest. He was having a good run. And as you can see, Almarola, Logano, they're able to continue. While Austin Dillon and Byron, they both hit the grass hard. Their splitters damage. Oh, tough break for Bubba Wallace. He's one of the fan favorite super speedway racers, but he has just not had any luck at these super speedways. I can tell you that right now. Same with Austin Dillon. He hasn't had any good luck either. Like I said, Bell has taken the halfway bonus. We've come to five laps to go when we get back to racing. The red flag is lifted. We are now back under the yellow flag. Wow. What a big wreck. Now we can see Chase Elliott, Keslowski, Harvick, Raddick, Almirola, and Logano. All of these drivers, except for Kozlowski, are playoff contenders. I believe three playoff drivers, I believe, are wrecked out of this race. Which I believe is Kurt Busch, Alex Bowman, and Martin Truex. Oh, tough break for Truex, especially. He used to date 500 winner from this season. Now we'll restart here with just five more laps to go here at Talladega Super Speedway. Pace car is off. Bell, Chastain on the front row. Chastain came into this race minus 31 points below the cut line. Green flag in the air. Christopher Bell, he's getting a push from Ricky Stenhouse Jr. already. He's going to drop by the line. Picks up his Toyota teammates, Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. But they're going to the back of the field there. They're going to lose a ton of spots. Ricky Stenhouse and Chastain continue to lead. Chris Buescher, man, Chris Buescher in the 17. He's doing such a good job. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., we know how he's at these super speedways. This is one of his favorite racetracks. But look at Kyle Larson. We really never expect a Kyle Larson to be up in the top five. He does not like these super speedways. But he's now doing really good. He's now doing good inside the top five. With just four laps to go. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., can he hang on? He blocks Ross Chastain again. And Chastain need, basically needs a win in order for needs to win this race in order for him to get into the next round. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. continues to lead. Three to go. Stenhouse Chastain. Now Stenhouse goes to block Ross Chastain. 
Kyle Larson in the five, getting getting inside the top three with a push from Ryan Newman in the six. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Oh, look at Kyle Larson on the outside. Could Larson possibly take the lead? No, he can't. I believe we're coming to two to go this time. And now Stenhouse gets stuck through the middle. Kyle Larson is your new leader. And yet Kyle Larson, he's going to drop down on the bottom. Ryan Newman is your leader with a push from Cole Custer. Ryan Newman out front for Roush Fenway Racing. He's a really great... He's done. He's been good on these super speedways as well. Ryan Newman drops down on the bottom. Here comes Cole Custer, Tyler Reddick. And now here comes Bell on the outside with a push from Hamlin. White flag in the air. One more time around the Talladega Super Speedway. Cole Custer out front. Denny Hamlin in... Oh, Denny Hamlin loose out of shape in the wall. Denny Hamlin in the wall. That's it for Hamlin. Cole Custer out front continues to lead here at Talladega. Could he get his first win of the season? He's going to block Reddick. Here comes Chase Elliott, your pole sitter, in the third place. Custer continues to lead in the turn three for the final time. Custer blocks. Bad block for Custer. He gets loose. Get, almost gets in the Newman. Tyler Reddick now is, has the lead. Oh, he makes a bad move. Make it suck three wide. Kyle Larson shoves Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman blocks Larson, and Ryan Newman wins at Talladega. Ryan Newman gets his first win of the season. He's not a playoff driver, and oh, what a hard hit for the five of Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson hard into the inside wall. Man, what a crazy finish. It wasn't a photo finish, but it sure was a good one. I hope Larson's okay. Ryan Newman gets his first career win. First win for Roush. Rahul, all Roush Fenway Racing, both Roush cars, Chris Buescher and Ryan Newman, finished in the top three, which separated from Ross Chastain. What a great day for Roush. Let's take a look at the replay of this last lap. So watch the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Watch Tyler Reddick in the 8. You can see, oh, I think... Oh, I'm not sure what happened. I think I think Reddick tried to go to the inside and just was a little bit too aggressive with the bumper. But Cole Custer continues to lead. And now Reddick out of nowhere on the outside. He's gonna Reddick on the out Reddick and Custer has just been throwing some aggressive blocks. You can see Reddick Custer throws a block and now man, this is where the block's gone run and this this shot for the win is over. And I and if I think Tyler Reddick, yeah, if he wouldn't have gone three wide Reddick would have honestly could have won this race, but here come up with the push from Kyle Larson to Newman. Larson goes up to on the outside, gets blocked by Newman, and Ryan Newman was able to win. And how close was that for Chastain? That was so close. But watch this, watch this impact. Oof! Up on two wheels. That must have hurt for Kyle Larson. But Kyle Larson, he is okay getting out of that race car. Man, what a vicious crash. He will finish 5th today. What a good run for Kyle Larson though. At a super speedway. Ryan Newman gets his first career win. Not technically an upset winner. But Ryan Newman really hasn't really haven't been in contention to win a lot. This, easy, this season. But he finally gets a job done at a super speedway. Great job by Ryan Newman. Unbelievable. Two non-playoff drivers win. Wins this round. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at the results. Ross Chastain, he will not make it to the round of eight. He will finish second. Third is Chris Buescher. And fourth is Tyler Reddick. Kyle Larson, we know, will finish fifth. Chase Elliott, sixth. Brad Keselowski, seventh. Christopher Bell, eighth. Cole Custer, after throwing that bad block, finishes ninth. Rounding out of the top ten is Kyle Busch. Denny Hamlin, after hitting the wall, finishes eleventh. Corey LaJoy, twelfth. 13th, Michael Miguel, 14th, Ricky Stenhouse, and here are the rest of the results. You can see right there, Eric Jones is the one of the only drivers that hasn't got involved in a single wreck this season. And Eric Almirola, and Alec Almirola and Kevin Harvick, unfortunately, Harvick will not advance due to him being in a must-win situation heading into the into today. Ryan Newman pulls a absolute did an absolute job here. Or how we're doing really good today. We next race will be at Kansas Speedway. Now let's take a look at the results after today's race. A point standings. Well, everybody, the round of 12 is over. 
let's begin the round of eight. The points have reset, and here are the four drivers. First off, the four drivers eliminated were Alex Bowman. He missed the he missed the cut line by just five points over Eric Galvarola. Ross Chastain, who had a good run today, but he kind of came into this race almost in a must-win situation. Chastain didn't even advance though. Kurt Busch, he was I think he was already below the cut line to begin with in this race. Got caught up in that first big wreck. Got caught up in the big only big wreck we had. And Kevin Harvick, he was in a must-win situation. He didn't, so that basically cost him a shot of making it. So, here's your point standings right now. Danny Hamlin is your points leader. He's just plus three. He's plus 36 above a cut line. If he gets another good run, if he gets a good run at Kansas, he will surely he will block his way in on points to the championship four. Kyle Larson's plus 16 points. He has a much safer cushion. Not much safer cushion. He has a 20 point. He has 20 less points than Denny Hamlin. But let's see if Kyle Larson can just hold on. Remember, Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott are the only guys in the in the playoffs right now that don't have wins, and they're both Hendrick cars. And Hendrick Motorsports is still to look for their first win this season. Kyle Busch is only plus five points, and Joey Logano is only plus four. Tyler Reddick is only minus four. Martin Truex Jr. He's won twice, but he's minus 21 points below the cut line. Chase Elliott, he had a good run on Tyler. They got caught up in that, Gus was spun in that wreck, but he came back. He was able to advance. He's minus 28 points below the cut line. And Eric Almirola currently, he if he if he had a good he have, if he has a good run at Mart at Kansas. He has he's almost kind of in a must win situation for Eric Almirola. He's right now in a must win situation. But hopefully if Eric Almirola can at least get a top three, top five finish, then Almirola could point his way in. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So anyways, that is your round of eight. This is your point standings. We'll be heading into Kansas. So now we will see you in the next race for the Hollywood Casino 400. Man, what a Yellowwood 500 we had. Congratulations to Ryan Newman. Newman has moved up big time in the standings too. Wow. Ryan Newman putting on an awesome show at Talladega.